Hi everyone, welcome to Tech Tutorials. So in this video, uh, we'll see how to download JDK 9.0.4 and how to install and set up a path for JDK. Then we'll see how to run the first applet program. So let's start. So start uh, uh, with your Google and just type JDK 9 for Windows 10. So my operating system is Windows 10 and my processor is a 64-bit processor. I just uh, uh, choose like this. So now uh, from the given links, you can choose the first link, which is an official uh, link for downloading JDK 9.0. So here you can find JDK. So different operating systems is there. You just uh, take this link because our operating system is uh, Windows. So this is 375.5 uh, KMB is there for this file. So just double click on this. So now it starts downloading. So I already downloaded. I'll show you in my downloads. So first of all, you have to uh, locate the exe file. So this is my exe file. Just double click on this. I already installed. So you just double click on this. It leads to setup. Set up the installation environment. Like it will ask you uh, to click on and next uh, to start the installation of JDK. So you just follow the instructions and you can install your JDK 9.0 in your laptops. And after completion of this, you can locate your JDK in your uh, C drive, right? So because uh, for every software, for my computer, it is going to be installed in C drive. So you can find out here in C drive program files. So now you can find Java. See, it. this folder is created after successful installation of your JDK. So you just double click on this. Now you are finding JDK 9.0.4. Right? You just double click on this. So here you are finding bin. So in this bin folder only, you are getting all your uh, supported files. See, for my applets, I need applet viewer. Now you are finding applet viewer here, see. So remember, applet programs is not run for upper versions of your JDK versions. So it is run in your JDK 8 or 9, right? So I installed JDK 9 and I'll show you with this how you're going to run your applet programs, okay? So first of all, you have to set your path. So for that, you just uh, select this entire path and copy. You just click on Control C. So now this path is copied, right? So now it's time to set your path before you are going to start applet programming. I just uh, close this window and this window also I closed. So now I need to set up a path. Just go to Control Panel. Right, so this is my control panel. So there you have to uh, take system and security. And here you have to select system. And you can choose advanced system settings. So here you have an option environmental variable. So Java path, it can be set in two ways. One is temporarily and another way is uh, permanent. So this is a process how you're going to set your uh, Java path permanently, right? So when you set your path permanently, no need to set uh, every time when you're going to execute your Java files. So for that, you just click on this environmental variables. So here you have an option path. So just double click on this. Okay, now it will open you one window. So here see by using this new, okay, here you just paste your uh, uh, link uh, which is already copied right so here uh, uh, I just copied here and then I click on ok ok I just click on ok so now I'm finding here ok so this is your path you can find your path here ok for me it is two times I just delete one time ok so this is a way how you are going to set your Path. So now your JDK is ready to execute your applet programs. So now I'll show you how to create your applet program and how to run it. Okay. So for that, you just go to uh, Notepad. Okay. Simply you can write your uh, applet programs in Notepad. Okay. And then you can execute by using command prompt. 
so here for that i'm creating one folder on my desktop okay so name with the java projects so here all my java files along with my html file i'll store here okay so i'll go with a simple example right so this is a simple example uh, i just copy and paste in another uh, text pad so this is my notepad right i just uh, paste here so now you can see this is my applet program okay so this is my applet program i just close this uh, and see these two are uh, importing of packages which is required to run your applet that is awt and applet and this is my class my class name is shape which extends from applet because i already said like uh, i'm uh, implementing applet concept so this is my paint method so paint method will take uh, graphics class as an argument with an object g so by using this object i'm going to uh, draw a string that is nothing but uh, i want to show different shapes uh, on my screen as a text and i just want to draw a particular line rectangle and i need to set a color for uh, uh, for that and then i just uh, draw one oval with filled color and i just draw one arc okay and then this rounded rectangle so for that these are the methods i can use okay so this draw line method will takes four arguments right so you have to tell the starting point and ending point of the line and then you have to set your top and uh, left corners uh, from where you have to display your line so for that rectangle also we have for oval and arc and round rectangle so this is an applet code you just uh, copy okay so for this you have to save your file right so first of all you have to save this file with a dot java extension okay so here i have already shapes is there so if i'm asking like that it will ask me to restore i mean uh, replace it so i will take it as shapes one okay so now i will save my file with a class name so remember you have to save your file with class name so here my class name is shapes one okay my class name is shapes one so i just save it with shapes one so now i just copy this applet code because i already said you have to run your applet programs on applet viewer so whenever you are going to use your applet viewer so you need some html code because applet is a uh, client side program which can run on your chrome right uh, so because of that you need to write this applet code so i just copy it and i'll take another new file and here you can paste it okay so remember applet code will take argument as dot class extension of your class name simply here you can give dot class extension of your class name or else you can simply give the name of your class without having any extension because after compilation so your java compiler is going to create a dot class file and that as an arguments to your applet code okay so now you can save this applet code uh, with any one of the name or else you can use the uh, same name of your class name and remember you can give the extension as dot html okay the extension as dot html so i also save this particular html file is also in my java projects okay uh, one second so i need to change say uh, the shapes one because it is an extension of uh, dot txt so i need to change it with dot java just open it and save with an extension of dot java okay here you can give dot java so now it is a java file okay so now it's time to compile and run this program so for that you just click on cmd it will open you the command prompt right so remember first of all you have to set your path 
where your java compiler can view your program sir so now you can see in my desktop i have a folder java project so when i open my command prompt right so it will show me like a path users and user so now i need to set my environment so here i can give cd desktop so it will change my directory to desktop from that desktop my java programs is available at the java projects so i will give java projects so i just click on so now my program path is ready so all my programs i can view from this folder so here you have to write java c which is a command of java compilation so java c here you have to provide your program names dot java so my program name is shape ones dot java so simply i am given so i just click on enter so now you can see your program is nothing uh, having no errors then it will prompt you again like this command prompt otherwise it will show you the errors you have to rectify then again you can compile the program so here my program is compiled successfully so now i can run my program by using applet viewer okay applet viewer here i need to pass my html file so my html file is also saved with apps dot html i just given like this so now you can see so this is my program output so it will show a string like uh, different shapes and then line and then rectangle and fill rectangle then mean